Hello, welcome to theCUBE's coverage of AWS's DC Summit, formerly the Public Sector Summit, now consolidated in as the DC Summit, which represents the overall geography. It's not just public sector, there's a lot of commercial activity, military tech's hot, everything's popping in, in DC. We've got a great guest here bringing us the action. Tom Herzog, Chief Operating Officer with NetSmart. Tom, thanks for coming on remote in from the show floor at AWS DC Summit. Yeah, looking, it's been a great summit so far. Uh, lots of great conversation. I'm looking forward to, talk, to sharing the up updates with you today. What's the big DC summit change from last year? Can you share your thoughts on what's going on here? What's the agenda? What's the main focus at the DC summit this year? Yeah, I'd say two things. I think one, there's more uh, client or customer stories sharing the values and the benefits of what's happening in the text, both the opportunities and challenges and how we work together to make that happen. And I don't know if that change is what drove this next thing that I've observed. There's more people here than I've ever seen. I've come now for a few years and the number of attendees is just impressive, which has only facilitated great conversations as people are bringing maybe different challenges and opportunities from other ecosystems. But at the end of the day, it's all around the same focus. How do we deliver meaningful value to the people we serve? Talk, take, take us through what NetSmart does, the context. I want to get into some of the generative AI conversations. Take a minute to explain what uh, NetSmart does and your focus and how that relates to the, to the cloud. Yeah, absolutely. NetSmart's been in business for over 50 years and we've solely focused on the health and human services uh, community, uh, providing uh, healthcare IT solutions, often referred to as electronic medical record, but it's more than that. We're providing data, analytics, and services and we've also extended into the post-acute care community as well. The nuances and the challenges and the opportunities are the same. How do you help caregivers make the best decisions at the right time in the right role for the people that they're serving? Do you guys span public sector and commercial? Is that why you're there at DC or is there a specific um, focus? Absolutely, so we are, our public sector clients represent our, all across the entire US. We have footprints in every state. Uh, and it's at every uh, public sector level, whether it's at the federal level, uh, the state level, community, uh, localities, and also nonprofits in that who often are working in collaboration with our public sector clients as well. They're serving some of the most vulnerable and those in need. Tom, take us through the public-private relationship in healthcare because obviously it's been a nightmare with, with uh, data sets being kind of with HIPAA compliant over the years. You're seeing now data needs to be freed up but secure. You're seeing a need for real secure, valuable data, but data being available in generative AI is a key part of the theme in this next generation, this next wave is about using data securely and doing it in a way that's going to add value. How do you guys see the healthcare specifically on the data side, one, facilitate an architecture that's going to make that possible and what data allows you to let developers build data into the applications? Well, I think first it's the word you mentioned, it's the architecture. We've got to develop the right, the right systems and the right framework in such a way that they're absolutely secure, but it's also about privacy. Healthcare has a unique nuance than most any other, or any other ecosystem that's out there and that's making sure that individuals' healthcare information is available to them and who they choose to make it available to. And that's why these kind of public-private relationships are necessary, because we can talk about those challenges, we can talk about the opportunities, but it's the ability to come together and do that at such a speed of innovation that is delivering meaningful value now. And what you're seeing, you know, you asked what's happening here, it's collaboration. It's AWS, it's myself, and it's our clients coming together and say, how do we solve these challenges together at a rate that provides meaningful value now. The CUBE research team, we were publishing, we had a big conversation this week around some of the research we just published around the top concerns around data. One is IT and, and CISOs and just general technologists are in, in evaluation mode. The second thing that's uh, driving these decisions is privacy, governance, and security. And third, budgets are starting to emerge. It's not stealing from other budgets and, and using, budgets are building. How, what's your reaction to those, those three trends? Do you see the same thing and, and how are you responding to that? Well, absolutely. We're talking about budgets that often weren't even in existence a few years ago. And now people are saying that this has to, organizations are saying this has to be a priority for what we do. So we have new stakeholders at the table 
with an opportunity to do things that often were shared or it was an and with someone else. So I, I couldn't be in more agreement with you. And that's created this opportunity. And maybe you've just answered my question. It's why so many people are here this year is because there's an opportunity to really go make a difference. If you're, if you're going to write the headline and the story for DC Summit this year at AWS and DC, what's the top story down there? What should people be paying attention to? What is coming out of the show from your perspective? Well, I mean, it's easy to drop the buzzword around AI and, you know, there's probably scorecards and bingo cards around of people, how many times in different ways can you say AI? That's interesting. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the collaboration. It's the collaboration that's making the difference. What you're hearing on stage, what you're hearing in the hallways, in the private meetings, is how can we work together to go solve these challenges? You just shared it. We know there's challenges out there. Often technology is moving faster than sometimes policy and governance can keep up. We can all complain about that, we can wonder how we can solve it, but when we come together, there's an opportunity to go make that difference. And so I would tell you, for me, the word is collaboration. Collaboration is how we create acceleration. And I'm very confident coming out of there, more than when I just came here a few days ago, that that's exactly what is happening. Tom, thank you so much. I know you got to go. God, thank you for coming into theCUBE. Real one quick final point. How is NetSmart doing AI? How long have you been leaning into generative AI? What do you guys got going yeah, on? Yeah, well, we've rolled out uh, AI in all facets of our uh, ecosystem. And I would tell you it's been a focus on clinical, operational, and financial. We're using AI to help drive better outcomes while delivering more efficiency. We're using Bedrock, we're using HealthScribe in such a way that clinicians are no longer having to consume a bunch of data, they're having data being presented to them to give them possibilities and opportunities to help deliver the right treatment for that person they're care that they're caring about. Financially, we're ensuring that budgets are being spent the right way. And then operationally, we're seeing more efficiency by less having to go through the various data and operational components that are out there and presenting it to them through the tools that we have that are all being managed out of our AWS cloud environment. Tom, thank you for being our SiliconANGLE CUBE correspondent on the ground and your insights. And uh, we'll definitely be on the ground for sure with the CUBE at NYC uh, AWS Summit. Thanks for sharing your insights and perspective. Thank you for the time and I look forward to meeting you. Okay, Tom Herzog here, Chief Operating Officer at NetSmart. He's on the ground in Washington, D.C. for the AWS DC Summit. They renamed it from Public Sector Summit to DC Summit as it has much more bigger aperture with Generative AI. It's not just public sector, it's commercial, public, private partnerships, the CUBE coverage. This is the first year we haven't been to the DC Summit now with Public Summit in, in a few years. We'll be there next year for sure. Uh, we'll be at the NYC, New York City, AWS Summit with more action coming from the CUBE. Stay tuned.